Hi everyone, my name is Mariano Molinari and in this video we are going to edit this portrait. We have here three main problems. First, the uneven distribution of light in the face. Second, the shine on the forehead of the model. And third, the freckles of the model. So we are going to edit all these things without losing a natural aspect. This is the picture as it did get out of the camera. And now we are going to begin the editing. First, we are going to set up the white balance. This picture has been taken with an ordinary flashlight, a household flashlight. So the white balance is set here in tungsten. Selecting tungsten, we can move the slider of a blue-yellow space to the right producing a warmer image. I believe that it's better than the original white balance. First, we are going to work on the shine in the front. For this, I'm going to create a radial gradient and put the radial gradient here in the front. Moving this point, we can modify the shape of the gradient and moving and tracking from this point we can select the feeder, the amount of imprecision that we have in the selection from this hard border to this softer border. So we are okay here, we turn off, show overlay and we can reduce highlights. Now we are reducing, this is too much, we can return it's only a correction for to reduce this shining. It's okay. Well, the other problem is the uneven distribution of lighting in the face. So we create a new mask. We are going to draw a linear gradient, you know. It's okay. We see in green the part of a picture that is going to receive the correction, we turn off show overlay and we increase the value for shadows. It shows us the hair, see this is the actual picture and this is the correction, it's okay, and we are going to increase a little of exposure and you see that using this mask we correct the lower part of a picture. Okay, well, and now we are going to correct the peckles. We create a new mask with the option of brush and we select the option of auto mask. I'm moving right now the wheel of the mouse and if I move the wheel of the mouse, I can increase or reduce the size of the brush. You can see at the right that the size of the brush, you can see at the right the modification of the size of the brush. So I begin to paint here. I turn on the show overlay and you can see that the brush is following the borders of the face. Okay? We have the border that is what I, that we need. We are going to turn off auto mask and we are going to paint these internal parts and also we can paint these borders in order to have a more imprecise mask. It's okay. Well, well, she's green. And now with the mask turned on we can we can change the brush to erase. And we are going to erase the parts of a face that we don't want to correct. So there are the eyes, the eyebrows. It's a simple selection. It's not, we do not need to do a very precise painting. I believe that she's like a Martian. Well, we turn off the overlay and with the mask turned on, we go to texture and we reduce texture in order to correct the freckles. We also can reduce clarity 
and also we can reduce sharpness doing a balance of these three sliders texture clarity and sharpness well it's done now we can work correcting these freckles this particular freckles we take the spot removal tool and we can change the size of the removal tool moving the slider here in size or moving the wheel of a mouse we press here and I ever prefer to do a round shape not to draw like this I prefer to do a point because doing a point we can edit the size after we create the correction here is another correction another one of course it's not the same job that you can do in Photoshop but this is a very useful tool for the label of correction that we are searching right now okay and we can return to the mask of a face here and we can decrease texture we're gonna see with the zoom okay look in this we can turn off the mask and we can turn on the mask it's okay very well now we are going to edit the eyes because in the eyes we can see this particular shine produced by the flashlight so we take again create new mask radial gradient and we draw here in the center of the eye and we decrease saturation and the magenta halo is removed then we duplicate this mask here there is a second mask because we need it for the other eye and okay the shines in the eyes are correct now we are going to work with the background we go again to create new mask and here we select select subject Lightroom selected the subject it's a very very good selection of the subject for to do a separation between the subject and the background so we invert this mask and we can do whatever we want here we can increase the exposure I go to increase the shadows in order to reduce the presence of the lines in the background here is okay and I also going to modify the color we can select a cold color a bluish background for to emphasize the colors of the face or we can select an orange background in order to do a harmony with the face skins I prefer to do this okay this is the correct background for me now we are going to produce an effect that is similar to the effect produced by a Fresnel light in the face we select this shape of the face we invert this mask here is the inversion of a mask here is the overlay and we reduce the exposure in this surroundings of a face we can reduce to a little bit shadows blacks we are doing the same effect of a spot light an all fresnel light or a honeycomb on a strobe now we have this eye a little dark I prefer ever prefer to do radial gradients better than paint because if you paint you ever has the shape of the brush the radial gradients have a more natural result and trying to correct the shadows to correct the eye this is the okay this is the eye it's okay so still in the develop module 
I'm going to create a duplicate, a virtual copy of a picture and going to this copy, I go to reset and selecting the two pictures, we can see one at the side of the other. At the right is the picture as it did get out of the camera with all the imperfections and in the left is the picture that we retouched here. Well, you liked this video? See you in the next. Bye bye.